Hello YouTube, so today I'll be making a Visual C Sharp tutorial on a Battleship game. I've already started off with the code and today I'm just going to explain the logic. This isn't the full code, however, this is generally 99% of the logic that you require making this code. So the first thing you'd have to do is you'd have to declare a boolean, uh, a, a, an array of strings with 100 dimensions for the 10 by 10 board. Each of the indexes represents the position for one of the players. So this is where the players would uh, position their different uh, ships, for example, battleships, carrier ships, patrol ships, etc. Uh, the next array for each of the players individually would be the hit array. So where the individual aims for a shot, and if they truly do hit a ship or they're missing the water. This would be the hit counter for how many times they hit the specific, um, specific place. And Boolean has one, is used for the while loop to count how many times, uh, if the user had one. So here we initialize the board with um, spaces. So when you output the board, it appears normally and nothing else appears. So it's, it appears more uniform. So this is how this will work. So you will initialize it, going through 100 of every index and making it equal to nothing. I'll post this up on the website so you guys can see the code more closely. Inside main, here you can initialize the variables, introduction, as data, etc. So this will be basically calling all the methods. And goodbye, so it's just goodbye, and then if statement, when the hit counter is 26, which means they hit 26 spots inside the ships, then you can output who won. Uh, inside input ship location, here you will ask the user to input their selection, and then within that index, you make it S for ship, so if it's always east, you do selection, selection plus one, selection plus two, selection plus three, inside the P1 board or P2 board. So essentially what's important to notice here is say you have the uh, index 0, 1, 2, 3. You'll have a spaces when you actually space it out. But if you make an S, then you'll have something like this. Putting ships in. So you go horizontally, increase the index by one each time. If you go vertically, you have to increase it by 10 going this way, or decreasing if you want to go west. So you can add that functionality, it's not added right now. So essentially you do that depending on the size of the ship. So carrier ship only needs two. Uh, a patrol, sh patrol boat only needs two. This tourist would need three. And last but not least, you would need a lot more. Four or five, for example, for carrier ship. So continuing on, do the exact same now for um, the next one. Just don't remember to do the draw board, which I'm going to go over right now. So after you get the selection, you continue on. And here you do a prompt to hit. So here is where you select where to hit. So here you get the selection. It draws the board. I'm going to go over draw board in a little while. It draws the board here. And if the hit is perfect to the P2 board, then it says hit. Otherwise, the other player has one, and then here you can continue continue off with the other one. The loop should automatically close within the main program or as data once a winner has one. So if has one equals equals true, then break. Uh, continuing on, so this is like the as data loop, and then the draw board. You can make a parameter pass so you know which one to draw. So if it's a P1, then you cycle through every single one of these indexes. So up to 10, you keep on adding these dashes, and after every single 10, as you go horizontally, you do, you do a right line. So I'm going to show this right now. So if we do a draw board when we begin, program and main, so draw board, P1, you're going to see the selection over here. It should say we haven't initialized it yet. So after we initialize, it's nice and even. You can change the design however you guys want. It's just the importance of knowing every single array and keeping it organized. So yeah, and then after this, after the draw board mechanism, that's basically the whole program. So I, I'm going to upload this, um, all this code online so you guys can review it at your own pace and you can add additional functionality. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for watching this video.